number 51. To the start line. Big race. Go the people. You gotta get in the porter pot line. Way to go, Sage. Yeah. All right, Sage, let's go, Sage. Yeah. Good job. Let's go, Sage. Let's go, Sage. Come on. Let's go, Sage. I just finished the Honolulu Marathon, uh, seventh place, almost, I think just under 232, 231 high. Uh, so, oh, it was tough. Humidity, we'll have to check the weather stats. Probably felt like it was 90% humidity, but uh, yeah, solid race. Uh, I look at the Strava splits. I think I had really consistent splits. I was a little alarmed. The first mile was pretty slow for me, and then they kind of just stayed the same, mostly in the 540s. Uh, and yeah, there were some surprise hills in there, some surprise wind, which felt a little refreshing, but definitely in no man's land and in the dark there a bit. The dark kind of throws your perception of pace off, especially like downtown. Uh, so I was, I, I was shocked how fast it felt, even though my breathing was a little more under control because of the uh, being at sea level. Uh, but yeah, instantly felt the humidity, it was drenched in sweat right away. Uh, and then just started dumping some water on my head, taking sips at every aid station. Luckily they had a lot of Gatorade, so what I ate uh, I took four gels. I had gels in my pockets, that's why I wore half tights. And then I took uh, three salt pills. Uh, I was drinking pinching cups of Gatorade. I probably took 10 to 12 uh, eight ounce pours of Gatorade. Every time they had Gatorade, I just took some sips and then a lot of sips of water. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the gels, I took one of their gels too. They had this, uh, it was a Japanese brand. Slurped that down. I missed the first one. Uh, but yeah, I was just trying to play damage control, not implode because it was hot and intense the whole way, and I think I held pretty solid, even splits. I was in no man's land though, and uh, this is really exciting. The top woman finished uh, next place behind me, and I was kind of, I could see out of the corner of my eye, I could see the motorcycle brigade and the press truck coming through 10K here. She was uh, right behind me, but she was running really even splits. I don't know how the women's race played out, but uh, 
they, they were still within a couple hundred meters of me at the end. So uh, yeah, in the middle, I opened it up a bit. I, I didn't have much company. It was kind of a solo effort, but a lot of people out there cheering on the course and mountain back sections really appreciate it. It's so great to see so many of you. Uh, we'll try to do some clips overlay there, but uh, yeah, great course, great event, yeah, great volunteers. Uh, really happy to be here. I was lucky to get a good starting line position because it's a, it's a really big race. I heard there are 14,000 uh, people here and uh, of course, thanks to my better half, Sandy, here for uh, filming and crew support, being walking there to the expo and starting line uh, with me and uh, all the people that offered encouragement, uh, said hi this weekend and online. It uh, really means the world to me. So thanks, uh, check out Sandy's channel, Running Wild. Uh, thanks to the Patreon supporters for keeping this YouTube channel alive, as well as title sponsor Hoka, keeping the dream alive, or the Rocket X2, uh, Compressor Cast Sleeves, Chorus Watch, uh, what other sponsors can I plug? Spring Energy, uh, Camelback, we'll, we'll stop there. But uh, thanks for subscribing, liking these types of videos. We're gonna go back to trail running. I got exciting announcement in my next race. It's gonna be a long ultra, and it's gonna be in a hot and humid climate. Stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.